Welcome to the McAfee DLP demo series. Today, we'll introduce you to some of the latest features in the DLP Endpoint 9.4 policy management. DLP Endpoint 9.4 introduces a new user interface that allows the administrator to quickly and easily deploy DLP policies. One of the new features we will be demonstrating today is modular policies and reusable rule sets. DLP 9.4 introduces a variety of pre-canned rule sets that allow you to deploy DLP policy easily in your organization. You can benefit from the pre-canned rule sets simply by duplicating one. You can use it as is or customize it for your needs. Here's an example of how you can protect an organization from confidential information data leakage to the cloud. These are the cloud applications that are being monitored in the cloud rule. Data classification for this example is confidential. DLP can block confidential data from being uploaded to the cloud. In this rule, we just report an incident and store an evidence file, as customers usually do at the initial phase. The second rule is required to complete the cloud protection. Web post rule can protect your classified data from being uploaded to any cloud web clients or social media websites. Reaction for this rule is similar to the previous one. Now we can name the rule set and save it. Basically, all that is required from the user in order to customize the rule set is to define the data classification for his need or to use a built-in one. DLP also provides predefined rule set samples for different compliance needs. In this example, we monitor any HIPAA classified data leakage through multiple channels. Let's see the email protection rule definition in details. The built-in classification in this rule is HIPAA. The policy will apply to all end users. Only those emails going out of the organization will be monitored. Therefore, the organization domain should be excluded. You should create a new domain definition instead of a dummy definition. Name it and add a domain name. Once the definition is created, it becomes available for usage in any email rule. Now the email protection is customized. For this rule, we just monitor breaches selecting the Report Incident checkbox and save the classified file. You could easily protect information of any other compliance or standard by just changing the classification of the protected data. You can filter rule sets to see only user-defined ones. The last thing to do is assign newly created rule sets to a policy. First, we will assign a global rule set for all policies. It should include rules that are relevant to the whole organization. Second, we will assign relevant rule sets to appropriate policies for U.S. Office, HIPAA and Cloud Protection. For Japan Office, JSOX Protection. And finally, we'll apply the policy for U.S. and Japan offices. Now we'll demonstrate DLP in action. Here is a client computer, for example, that recently received the policy the user just defined. Let's first demonstrate the cloud protection rule. In this case, the user will try to upload a file with confidential data to the cloud using a Dropbox sync folder. McAfee DLP can block or monitor confidential information from being uploaded into the cloud based on the predefined policy. As you recall from before, we've defined the cloud rule reaction to monitor and notify the user that he or she has uploaded confidential data into the cloud. As soon as the upload starts, the user will receive the monitor notification. Now, we'll demonstrate the HIPAA classified data leakage monitoring. The user tries to copy a portion of data from a classified file. As soon as he pastes the data into Gmail, he receives a notification. Now let's go to the Incident Manager, where all the incidents are reported. The administrator can filter the incidents and group them by relevant fields. Inside each incident, there is detailed information regarding the breach, including the source of the data leakage, the link to the actual classified data, and more. In this way, the administrator can easily investigate any incident. In this demo video, you learned how to build modular policies with reusable rule sets. This new feature lowers overhead and total cost of ownership by allowing administrators to rapidly assemble policies for different departments or divisions. Thank you for your time. Visit the URL to view more DLP demo videos.